The Lord is good. He woke all of us up today and allowed us to come to the house of the Lord. Let's give him praise in this house because he is worthy. Amen. Merry Christmas. Welcome to Mount Carmel Ministries. We are here at 2015 Grove Street, Vicksburg, Mississippi. Our pastors are Mitchell and Deborah Dent. I'm Minister Washington. We want to welcome you to our Sunday morning worship service where we worship God in spirit and in truth. If you are watching over the airways, we would ask that you would share the broadcast with others so they can be blessed today by the word that God has for us all. All right. Now, if you need a ride to church, we have a transportation ministry. You can call 601-629-8658. We'll pick you up and take you back. Amen. Come on to the house of the Lord. So you can get in this place where this synergy is. And let God reign on you in here. We already invited him in this place <laughs> to have his way. Oh, you want to get here if you can. Now Deacon Coleman is coming with the worship through scripture. <laughs> After that, we're going to have prayer. Just continue to worship. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Good morning, Merry Christmas. Please stand up over your Bibles to the book of Matthew chapter 5. Matthew 5, we're going to start the first verse. The word of God reads, And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. May the Lord bless you to the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. Amen. 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 Let's bow our heads for prayer. Thank you, Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Father, we just come today, Father, once again, as humble, as humble and thankful, Father, Thank you, that you just allowed us to see it's just another day. Oh, Father, we thank you so much for just allowing us to come into your house of worship once again. Oh, Father, oh, Father, we understand and know, Father, that there's wars and rumors of wars going all around this world. Oh, Father, it's just all kind of evil and evil doing that's going on in this world. But, Father, in your word, in the second book of Chronicles, it said that if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then you will hear from heaven. Then you said that you will heal the land. Oh, Father, we understand, Father, that that is in the hands of the Christians, Father. That is, is, is in the hands of the, the people that truly believe in you, Father. Oh, Father, it never has been in the hands of the world. Oh, Father, and Jesus said that if he be lifted up, that he'll draw all men unto himself. Oh, Father, I'm praying right now. It's just for a change of heart. It's just in this whole world. Oh, Father, change the mind in this whole world. Oh, Father, give everybody a sense of purpose, Father. Oh, Father, give everybody a sense of that living hope this morning. Oh, Father, we just thank you, Father. Thank you, because we're here. We're going to lift you up. 
Oh, Father, we're here. We're going to praise your holy name. Oh, Father, because we believe and we know that you are the answer to all of our problems, all of the issues in this whole entire world, Father. Oh, Father, we just thank you and we claim it right now in the name of Jesus. And Father, furthermore, we ask that you just bless this service. Oh, that someone will hear this service, that will hear your word this morning. And Father, and that their hearts will be changed, that their minds will be changed, which will also change their situation and their circumstances. Oh, Father, we ask them for a breakthrough this morning. Oh, right now in your darling son Jesus' name. And Father, we ask that your Holy Spirit just take over this service today. And Father, someone will be set free this morning. Oh, Father, we thank you right now in your son Jesus' name. And Father, and I pray in his name. Amen. 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 Somebody shout amen. Oh, uh, shout amen again. Oh, uh, come on. I tell you what, let's get up and just, just, just give the Lord some praise in this place this morning. Oh, uh, just thank him for him being God all by himself. Amen. Oh, uh, he's brought us from a mighty, mighty, mighty long way. Amen. Glory to God. He's never left us, nor has he forsaken us. Amen. Glory to God. He's with us always. Somebody shout amen. Lord, you, you ever felt like you were all by yourself only to realize that uh, uh, something happened and God showed you that you were never alone? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It's good to, it's good to know Jesus. Amen. It's good to know the Lord. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I've learned how to praise God all by myself. Amen. Glory to God because God has been good to me. Amen. Why don't you find somebody and just ask them, has God been good to you? Find somebody else and ask them, has God been good to you? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, they just going to tell him, he's been good to me. He's been good to me. He's been good to me. He's been better to me than I've been to myself. Amen. Glory to God. See, that, that was a time in my life I didn't care a whole lot about me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. See, I may have acted like I cared about me, but I wasn't bringing the me that was to the Lord. And so anytime you don't bring the you that is to the Lord, you don't care nothing about you. But when you decide that you're going to bring the you that you are to the Lord and say, God, I need you to help me. Oh, now you care something about yourself. Oh, hallelujah. Now God can work with you. Glory to God. Because you've given him, you've given him some timber. You've given him something that he can work with. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, and what we want to do is give the Lord something to work with this morning. Amen. Oh, glory to God. He said, present your body. Come on, church. As a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reason. See, God don't ask us to do nothing that is unreasonable. Oh, hallelujah. Because what he asked us to do, Jesus did. Oh, hallelujah. And because he did it. I can do it. Amen. There it is again. Find somebody else. Tell them, you can do it. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. I, I'm, I'm so thankful to be in your presence this morning. Thankful to be in the house of the Lord. For you who are watching via YouTube and Facebook, we thank God for you. Text somebody. Call somebody. Let them know that we're on. 
God has a word for you. Hallelujah. He's going to speak to your heart this morning. Somebody going to get saved. Somebody going to get healed. Somebody going to get delivered and set free. See, you got to decree some stuff. Find somebody. Say, decree it. Decree some stuff. Amen. Glory to God. And, and look, that when you decree it, don't, don't, be, don't be acting like it ain't happened yet. No, 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 no. Just decree it and believe that you've already received it. Amen. Oh, why don't you just reach? I'm, I'm going to be a little country now. Why don't you just reach up and grab your heel? and say, my healing is mine. Healing is mine. Glory to God. Uh, uh, look, look, if you're wrestling with something, reach up and say, my deliverance is on uh, right here. Glory to God. My financial breakthrough is already broke through. Come on now. Oh, so you got to decrease some stuff over your own life. Amen. Glory to, glory to God. I just saw my lovely wife came in. Hallelujah. I'm blessed and highly favored of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Boy, the ladies got real loud. Hallelujah. Bless that. It's good. Amen. And, 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 you, oh! See, y all, y all, I, you, can I, can I, look, when we come to church, glory to God, it is an awesome, it's a holy place. Somebody shout amen. amen. But you can be happy and holy. You can be you you can glorify God with a big old smile on your face, Amen. Oh, cause that's where we get our strength from, Amen. Hallelujah. Again, I, I'm just so happy this morning. This morning, what we're going to be talking about briefly, and we thank God for our children that are here. We're going we have uh, 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 rewards, uh, awards, or whatever, something like that. For the, the hallelujah, we had an essay contest, and we're going to be uh, awarding uh, the winners of that contest today. Amen. God is good. But what we're going to talk about before we get there, we're going to talk about the profile of a Christian. The profile of a Christian. See, sometimes we need to know what we're supposed to look like. Hallelujah. Amen. And we learn how we are supposed to look by looking into the word of God. See, we can't allow the world to be our template. Uh, that's why Paul said in Romans chapter 12, I'm just trying to ease on into this message. That's why Paul said in Romans chapter 12, he said, uh, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. Glory to God. And be, he said, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. God, stay with that one. Amen. See, the world has transformed a lot of people. Who call themselves Christian. Oh, you better help me preach, amen. The world has transformed a lot of people and thinking that as long as I go the way of the world, it's okay. But this morning, that ain't a part of your profile. God don't want that to be a part of your profile because he wants you to represent him correctly. Glory to God. Oh, now, now he, he don't want you. Uh, we used to say this when we're talking to, you know, gang people. Don't be perpetrating a fraud. You got to be real. Amen. And the word of God will show us how to do that. Amen. So this morning, that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to have a good time in the Lord. And I thank God for what he's going to do in this place. Amen. Uh, our scripture reading this morning is going to come from first, the book of 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, verses 1 through 5. 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, verses 1 through 5. And if you don't mind standing in honor of the reading of the word, you see, it's not me that you honor when you stand. It's God that you honor. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And I want you to know something. The more you and I honor God, the more we will be honored by God. Oh, I'm going to have to say that again. The more you and I honor God, the more we'll be honored by God. Amen. The power of God wants to move in your life, but sometimes you've got to move before God will move. Amen. So again, glory to God, if you don't mind standing, if you can stand in honor of the reading of the word. Amen. Young men, can I get y'all to stand? Come, can I get y'all to stand? Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because it's something about being obedient. The Bible says when you're willing and obedient, you can eat the fat or the good of the land. Amen. Oh, tell your neighbor there's a blessing in obedience. 
All right, let's look what the Word of God says. You're going to see it on the screen, or you can look at, look at get, get one of the Bibles and look at Look what he says. And I, brother, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellence of speech of, or of wisdom declaring, the, you, declaring to you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in, and in fear and much trembling. Verse 4. And my speech and my preaching were not with pers persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power, that your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Father God, we thank you for what you're about to do in this place. We thank you, oh God, that you're going to show us who we are. And Lord, we thank you for your Holy Spirit will show us how to become, how to act like who we are in you. God, we give you the glory in advance in Jesus' name. We're going to decree and declare amen. 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 You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Now, now most of you know that I spent, uh, I spent uh, a long time. Uh, I got a good church, amen, boy. They, 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 they let me know what I had left that mind. Glory to God. Watch this now. God is good. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. Watch this now. As a police officer, we used to do profiles, amen. You know, a lot of times we ended up in court because somebody said we profiled them. Can, can I just give you a little testimony? Can't y'all hear me? I'm just give you. I'm just give you a testimony of, of. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hallelujah. I'm just give you a testimony of, 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 of having to repent. Amen. Having to repent uh, because I was trained to look for certain indicators. Because a profile, you look at characteristics, traits, uh, 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 all things that can identify somebody as possibly being somebody who will commit a crime. One of the things I already knew that if you had uh, a Mercedes Benz parked in front of a shotgun house, something was wrong with that picture. And, and, and so what I'm doing, uh, I'm, I'm patrolling one morning, and I see this brand new BMW sports coupe. That joker was sharp, hallelujah. Kind of an army green boy, had some nice rims on it. And a young black guy was driving it, and I said, like, oh, that joker got to be selling drugs. So I, you know, I fell in behind him, and I'm watching him, and I'm driving, and all this good stuff. And then I ran what is called a 2829. Came back, uh, he told me who it was, and it was not stolen. Hallelujah. And then when he gave the name, I said, wait a minute, I, I haven't heard that name before. Come to find out of this young man who had just got drafted uh, 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 by an NL, NFL team, signed a good contract, and just came home, just hallelujah. I had to repent because I was looking at that and I was basing, basing it on what I thought would have been the profile of, I had to repent. I had to repent, I had, but, but I, it took finding out some other information. So when God is looking at you and I as Christians, he's looking to see, do you fit my profile? Are there some things that line up? The Hebrews 11 says, now faith is the substance of things that hope for and the evidence of things not seen. Are there any evidence of how you're living that determines, shows me that you are one of mine? Amen. And so when Paul is writing here, Paul has two major concerns when he's writing. I hope you'll see them in, in his text. Amen. And there are concerns that we have today because we're living in perilous times. We're living in perilous time and perilous means dangerous. And we're living in dangerous times because of dangerous people. There are people who are called good, bad and bad, good. And if you listen to them long enough, you'll start to believe what they're saying is true. But glory to God, God said, I don't call you out of that darkness into my marvelous light. And I need you to walk in the light like I'm in the light. Are y'all still with me? Yeah. Glory to God. So here's the first thing that I'm going to tell you that Paul says that we need in these last days. We need anointed Holy Spirit led preaching and teaching of the word of God. I'm going to say that all over again. Amen. We need anointed Holy Spirit led preaching and teaching of the word of God. Not your theory, not your experiences, not a, and a, all that's good because God said I can use that to work out for my good. But I need you to teach my word. I need you to stay with my word. I don't need you to go this way or that way. I need you, you to stay with what thus saith the Lord. I don't need, I, 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 see, how many know that there's some scriptures you will sometimes read that you like, I'm going to tear this page out of my Bible. Y'all don't have to say nothing. Y'all don't have to say nothing. Cause it, but look, you can tear it out your Bible, but it's still in the Bible. 
Glory to God. And you still got to be willing to live by it. Somebody shout amen. You still got to say, okay, I don't like it, but I'm going to make that a part of my profile. See, see if, you, if it ain't a part of your profile, you ain't a part of his. Part of his. Amen. So, so, see, the word says, I'll lead you and guide you in all truth. The word of God will show you how to, how to be an overcomer. Okay. Amen. Glory to God. And see, you got to know, it is the anointing that removes the burdens and destroys the yokes. Anybody got a burden? Anybody got a yoke? Glory to God. But see, glory to God, I, I pray the glory to God for this service is over. That yoke going to be removed, that burden going to be destroyed because the anointing of God going to show up right here in your life. Amen. Glory to God. So that's the first thing. Amen. The second thing Paul kind of talks about, he talks about preaching and teaching from an evangelistic mode. Uh huh. In other words, it's good to come in here because, oh, shalabaka. We have a good base for operation. Somebody shout amen. But see, you can't fight the war from the base. So, no, well, let me get it right. Let me get it right. You can't stay at the base and fight the war that's outside. And you come to the base to get the principles. What's the Bible basic information before leaving earth? So before you leave out, you got to get some information, but you got to go out and fight with the information that you get. You got to go out and fight the word. See, if you don't know how to handle the word of God, you won't know how to fight with the word of God. Amen. Are y'all still with me? So you got to be willing to go out. Tell your neighbor, you got to go out. Say it again, you got to go out. Look at what Jesus said, just, to, just, 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 just get this in your spirit. Jesus in Matthew chapter 28, look what he said, I am, and Jesus came and spoke to him saying, all authority is given to me in heaven and in earth. Where's all authority? In Jesus. In Jesus. Come on, say in Jesus. But see, if I get Jesus in me, what I got? Oh, you better help me preach this thing. Glory to God. He said, all, uh, uh, verse 3, verse 19, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I command you, and lo, I'm with you always, even until the end of the age. Amen. So when you get Christ on the inside of you, you've got the power and the authority of Almighty God, of all heaven on the inside of you. Amen. Glory to God. You have the ability to do whatever, you, whatever God calls you to do. Amen. Uh, but he ain't through. Amen. Mark comes back. Uh, Mark. 14, 23, look what he said. Uh, then the master was said to the servant. He's talking to him about going out, amen. He said, go ye, go, into, go out into the highways and to the hedges and compel them to come, uh, to come in, that my house may be filled. Find somebody and say, God wants to fill this house. Say again, God wants to fill this house. But before he can fill this house, he got to fill this house. Y'all better help me up in here. See, when he fills this house, then it won't be no... See, when you start to... When he fills you and you go out there, what's going to come out of you ain't you. It's going to... Him. And when he comes out of you, he's going to change some things. But you got to decide that I'm going to start to do the things that are going to allow my life to reflect Christ. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. So part of the profile is that you got to go. Tell your neighbor you got to go. See, see, when we get saved, we work from that point that we're saved. Amen. But now after you get saved, then you work out of that salvation. Amen. And you start to pit, compel. You start to draw. See, when you get the light, then you can be the light. Somebody shout amen. amen. Glory to God. And see, you can't let the world or the enemy or nothing else dumb down your life. Amen. When you follow, when, if you're going to be Christ, I had another title for this as well, and it was, am I useful to God? See, it's only when you really start to fit the profile of a Christian that you become useful to God. Any other profile, you're useful to somebody else. And the word says, you are, you are of your father, the devil. And the lust of your father you would do. Amen. He was, and see, he done lied to you to make you think that by following him, everything going to be okay. Uh, you, 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 uh -huh. you ever follow somebody uh, and, 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 and some told you, I'm going to use that word, amen, that, 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 that they was going the wrong way? That they, 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 they were going to lead, they were going to get you in trouble, but, but, but you're just skipping along with them anyway. And then when the poo poo hit the proverbial fan, you realize I shouldn't have went with them. Mm -hmm. And but, see, but here's the problem, but it was too late. It was too late. Now you were, in, you were in a little too deep. 
But and somebody said, thank God for God. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. So, so, so. You know, there are three major things, and we're just kind of working in this this morning. There are three major thing, things that Jesus taught while he was on the earth. Now, we know we taught, he taught how to walk on water and not sink. He taught how to heal the living. He taught all that stuff. But they fall into, into maybe three kind of categories. The first one is to love God. Yes. To love God. When you love God and you demonstrate that love for God, God going God to love you back. Well, tell me, it's so good. Loving somebody and that somebody loves you back. See, I know, see, I got some old school folk in there. They was, they was already clapping, bro. They already had the rhythm. I, they, I didn't have to, I didn't get past the first chord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Amen. Watch this. But he taught, he said to love God. The other one was to love your neighbor like you love yourself. Amen. And then the third one was to forgive those who wrong you. Amen. So those, those, those three major points kind of tell us the profile of everything about Jesus. Amen. And when we start to do this, that becomes our message. Amen. So what Paul is telling us and what we're going to hit today, there are three things. The message that you have to portray as a Christian, the manner in which you portray it as a Christian, and the motive behind your portrayal of being a Christian. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. And see, we're going to develop these this morning. Amen. So first, let's say the message. Message. It's how we, what we do, we communicate in our writing, in our speech, in the signals. Amen. How many know that? Uh, oh, okay, okay. Bro, 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 bro Coleman, y- 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 y'all, y'all all right? Okay. Bro Coleman, don't say it to Mary, but just, 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 just kind of signal to her how she, what she means to you. <laughs> oh, y'all, 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 Brother Washington, brother Washington, don't, 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 Bro Ross, bro Ross, bro Ross, don't, don't, don't say it, just, 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 just signal it to her. Ah. <laughs> Pastor Deborah, come on, signal to me, baby, signal to, signal to me. All right, all right. See, 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 see. There are ways to give signals that, well, you, you don't even have to say words. So when you are a Christian, sometimes you don't even need on a t-shirt that says, I, I am a Christian. You, you, you don't need no in no paraphernalia. You don't need no cross that's wearing you down. Hanging around your neck trying to get folk to believe. Uh-uh. No, it's how you start to live. That's your message, amen. Tell your neighbor, say, my message, my message, my message. And I, look what Paul says. He said, and I, brethren, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellent speech uh, or the wisdom declaring to you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Amen. In other words, uh, uh, Paul says in Galatians 2 and 20, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ that liveth in me. In other words, you got to decide. You got you to gotta be willing to die to show God that I believe in him. Amen. So that his word becomes your message. Amen. And now watch this now. One of the things you have to get uh, is, is understanding Christ or knowing Christ in his humanity as well as his divinity. Amen. You got to know him as a man and you got to know him as God. When he was born, the Bible says he was born and called Emmanuel, which is a translate, translated Christ or God with us. Amen. And, but he came in the fashion of a man. He had to come, so he had to come in on, as a man because he had to come in under the law to qualify to deliver us from the law. Amen. And so as a man, hallelujah, he was filled with the Holy Ghost, wasn't he? And when he got filled with the Holy Spirit, his natural man became supernatural. And when his natural man became supernatural, that's where he had the ability, the authority to do what he did in the earth realm. And guess what? That wasn't just that wasn't reserved just for him. When you get Christ in you, you have that same type of power, authority and ability. Amen. Glory to God. And see, the the message Paul is saying here is that the more I talk about Christ, the more I preach Christ crucified, the more I preach the willingness of Christ to do the will of God. That's what I need you to know. I'm not doing this because I like it. I'm doing this because he's given me an opportunity to do it. And, and, and look, I love it now because he loved me. Come on, church. Glory to God. So, but you got you to gotta, you gotta learn how to balance that humanity and that divinity. Amen. Glory. See, get it in the natural, then the spiritual is going to show up. Hey, submit the body, then he'll fill the body. Oh, y'all understanding what I'm saying? 
Glory to God. And when he fills the body, then the ability to overcome, watch this, to overcome things that affect the body will be in the body. Glory to God. That's why sickness has to go. Y'all better help me up in here this morning. Glory to God. See, you can say to your body, yo, look, y'all, y'all, y'all ever notice me doing that sometimes when I preach? You know, because cause, cause I got a little hernia. It ain't went nowhere yet. Oh, hallelujah. Boy, y'all, when I come up, I saw this, I saw this, I got to share this with you, glory to God. This guy was saying, after years of training and years of hard work, I finally have Sylvester Stallone Rocky body. But it was Rocky with a big, big belly. We ain't going to be like that, amen. We getting our six pack back. Somebody shout Amen. But you got to be willing to work on it. Tell your neighbor, you got to work on it. Tell them again, you got to work on it. Look what Peter says, amen. First Peter chapter 2, verse 21 through 24. Look what the word of God says. For this, uh, for this you were called because Christ also suffered uh, for us, leaving us an example. You see, Christ is our example, amen. So, 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 so my message is that you've got to look to Christ and look to, the, the Bible says, looking unto Jesus, who's the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him, he, did, he despised the cross, despised the shape, and sat down at the right hand of God. Are y'all still with me? See, when you, when you start to look to Christ, you'll look past the suffering that you got to go through. Amen. You won't worry about the suffering you got to go through because you know for, it's for a greater good. Somebody shout amen. amen. Look what he says in verse 22. Who committed no sin, nor was the deceit found in his mouth. Who, when he was reviled, come on now, that when you get, anybody been talked about? Anybody been lied on, cheated, and talked about it, mistreat? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Go, go over to God. He said, uh, 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 who when he was reviled, he did not revile in return. And when he suffered, he did not threaten, but, it, but committed himself to him who judges righteously. Amen? Look at verse 24. Who himself bore our own sin in his own body on the tree, that we having died to sin might live for righteousness by whose stripes we were healed, amen? So, so this is Christ's profile, and so this is the profile that we gotta start uh, uh, adopting, amen? And so just because somebody talked about you, you can't one-up them. I heard a guy on the radio say, you know you know, uh, uh, President Obama, Mr. Obama, they would always say, when, when they go low, we go high. This guy said on the road, <laughs> this guy said on the radio, he out of Chicago, he said, when they go low, I go lower. We don't want to do that. Tell your name. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Amen. We want to go to God. Amen. What the sister, sister girl, Minister Washington, preached a couple weeks ago, I will look up to the hills from which cometh my help. All of my help comes from the Lord. Amen. So you can't look for the devil to help you. You got to look to Jesus. Amen. You can't look for the world to help you. You got to look to Jesus. Amen. Everything in the world was created by God. And the same God, the Bible says in John chapter 1, y'all better help me up in here. Uh, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. Jesus is the Word that became flesh. When you got the Word on the inside of you, you can call those things that be not as though they were. They were manifest because of the power of Almighty God that's operating on the inside of you. That's our message. That's our message. Look at Philippians. Hallelujah. Paul had passion for God. Christ had passion. Look what he says here. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 through 7. Let this mind be in you which is also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation. Look, you've got to decide that it ain't about me. It's all about God. See, you, you have to get to the point where you don't care, you don't care how many folk like or don't like you. Amen. Glory to God. You, you got to stop going on your Facebook page trying to see how many people like your post. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. If God told you to post it, post it. And look, stop trying to, look, I, I got to figure out something good to say. So, no, 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 no. Look. He said, thought it not robbery be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and taken on the form of a bond servant and coming in the likeness of a man. Come on. Uh, 
and being found in the appearance of a man, he humbled himself and became obedient, remember that word earlier, to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Come on. <laughs> that at the name of Jesus, what? Every knee should bow of those things where? In heaven, those things on earth, and those things underneath the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. See, when you get Christ in you, it gives you dominion in three realms. Oh, glory to God. Find somebody and say, I'm not a one-hit wonder. Oh, I'm not a one-hit wonder. Glory to God. I, I, I hit a home run everywhere I go. Somebody shout amen. Oh, glory to God. See, that's why you got the power to, to you, anybody in here know you got a relationship with God in heaven? Anybody know that walking on the earth, you got a, God, a relationship with God of the earth? Yeah. Anybody know that if the enemy come at you, you got authority over him because he underneath the earth? Amen. Oh, glory to God. So, why don't you tell somebody, take authority. Take authority. Take authority. Take authority. Take authority. Stop allowing the enemy to tell you. You tell the enemy. Amen. Glory to God. Come on. Look, you ain't got no problem telling people. Y'all better help me up in here. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. Negro, you know you need that peace. Don't be, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Help me, God, help me, God, help me, God, help me, God, help me, God. God is good. Somebody said, God is good. Amen. And so you've got to decide, amen. That's going to be your message, amen. Look at it. And see, God wants to work through your body. Jesus says in Hebrews chapter 10, verse, verse uh, uh, 7, he says, I come in the volume of the book to do your will, O God. His, his message was, I've come here because God sent me. Glory to God. I, I, I even volunteered. I said, prepare me a body. Because God so loved you, glory to, I love God. And if God loves you, I'm going to love you. And whatever I got to do to get you back to God, that's what I'm going to do. Amen. Glory to God. You see, that's the mindset that you and I got to have as a Christian. Amen. Glory to God. See, you, you hallelujah. You may not like everything other folk do. Amen. But you got to love God enough to suffer through it. Amen. You got to love God enough to be willing to hang in there and stay with it. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. I love you, God. Tell your neighbor, I love the Lord. He heard my cry. He pitted every groan. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Long as I live, trouble may rise. Uh, I'm going to run from. I'm a hasten to. Come on, church. His throne. Amen. Why? Because that's where my help come from. That's where my help come from. That's where my help come from. All of my help. Come on now. That's where my help come from. Ooh, boy, it's going to be some up in here when I got a choir behind me. Uh, oh, stop, stop. Listen. Our message is Christ died so that you and I can live again and be with God forever. Amen. Find somebody say, that's the good news of the gospel. And look, can I tell you something? The enemy is going to try to get you from talking about this because the good news is just such good news. And see, some folk will say, it sounds too good to be true. It is. God, help me right there. Glory to God. Because we done heard folks say, that sounds too good to be true. I ain't going to bleed nothing like that. Well, you just keep this sitting there not believing. Oh, and then when you start seeing, hallelujah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, glory to God. See, there were some folks told you that you'd never get a, a, a new house. But then, look what the Lord done done. Come on now. Somebody said you'll never pay off your car. Uh, but look what the Lord done done. Can we just throw it out there? Somebody said you'll never be able to pay for a brand new car, cash, money, tax, title included. Say, look what the Lord has done. Come on, church. See, it's time out for trying to keep stuff where we can manage it. Come on now. The profile of a true Christian is to cast all your cares on him, no matter how big or how small. And believe that God going to answer. And God go, look, look, God going to answer a little, do it. What the Bible said, though the vision tarry, wait on it. Wait on it. Wait on it. But see, thank you, God. I got to go there. Okay. Ooh, help me, Holy God. Waiting is not sitting there with your arms folded, your legs crossed, drinking coffee. Waiting means that you get busy doing what does say the Lord. It means that I don't care how rainy it is, you find a way to get to church. Okay. Oh, Pastor, didn't stop. I don't care how snowy it is, you find a way to get to Bible study. 
I don't care how you feeling. Look, look, can I talk to somebody? You remember when you had that J-O-B? One God gave you. Snot running out your nose. You got a fever. Taking Tylenol, Nitol, or whatever, glory to God. And you still on the job. Sneezing and sniffing, still on the job. You feeling good on a Sunday morning, but it's cold. I don't think I'm going. I don't feel good. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. You'll use any excuse. The profile of a Christian is that he, he or she pushed all that aside and said, for God I live and for God I die. And you keep pressing in, amen? You keep pressing in, you keep pressing in. See, 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 by doing so, you're sending the message that God is worth something to me. My relationship with God is worth something to me. Hallelujah. Amen. So that leads me to our manner. Somebody said manner. Manner, 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 manner. Glory to God. Manner is how you behave. Amen. Glory to God. Your, 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 your method of operating. Amen. So you see, see, people need to be able to look at you and be able to tell what manner of Christian you are. Or, or my wife will talk about sometimes there are people who become members of an organization so that they can have the tag and the paraphernalia that, that, that identify them as a member of the organization. They don't participate in nothing that the organization does, but they got the paraphernalia and the tag that says that they are a member of the organization. How can you really be a member of the organization and you don't participate in what the organization is doing? So you ain't going to be no Christian. Take the tag off your car. If your business is not going to be Christian, ran, hallelujah, take, 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 talk, talk. I'm a Christian daycare. Take, talk, no. Come on now, come on now. I want to be true to the profile. Come on, church. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. See, when you get saved, the Bible says in John chapter 4, verse 14, there's a well of living water that starts to spring up in you. Amen. And, and, it, and it provides other people water. And then he says in John chapter 7, I believe it is, verse 38, he says rivers of living water. Amen. You see, you got to have the living water in you and you got to be willing to go where you, the living water can flow. Amen. So your manner has to be willing to go. That's why that, that's part of that evangelical mode. Amen. You got to be willing. See, you got to carry the job. You got to carry the Lord to Wendy's. You got to carry the Lord to the mama company. You had to carry the Lord down to Alcorn, Jackson, wherever, wherever you work, you got to carry the Lord there. Matter, matter of fact, Lord, matter, matter of fact, uh, <laughs> don't be talking about Lord, meet me there. The Lord done already beat you there. Come on now. I heard that in Sunday school this morning. I just thought I'd use that. I don't know who had that. In. Tell your neighbor your man or your man or your man. Glory to God. Again, look what Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 3 through 4. He says, For I was with you in weakness and fear and trembling, and my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power. See, this is how we are supposed to conduct ourselves as Christians. When we have Christ in us, the power of God will flow through. Paul was not perfect. I'm going to say that again. Paul, Paul said, I'm not perfect. I'm not yet perfected. But I'm pressing. Find somebody say, I'm pressing, I'm pressing, I'm pressing. And see, part of the perfecting process is I gotta go through some stuff though. Uh huh. I'm like, I'm like gold. I got some, I, I'm gold, but I got some stuff in there. And I gotta go through that refiner's fire, amen. And sometimes, look, tell the truth and shame the devil. You know, some of us in here are, are, are 375 degrees, just ain't hot enough. I'm gonna talk to this side. You got so much stuff. Down on the inside of you, the furnace needs to be turned up seven times hotter than for normal people. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. But see, if you want it out for good, tell your neighbor, I want it out for good. If you, if you want it out for good, you got to let him turn it up, turn it all the way up so he can boil it all the way out so you won't be bothered with that no more. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey, see the Hebrew boy said, turn it up. The Hebrew boy said, turn it up. Oh, 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 Pharaoh, what Nebuchadnezzar? He said, he said, he said, he said, I'm a, y'all heat that thing up seven times hotter. Cause they said, okay, we know that our God 
is able to deliver us from this burning fiery furnace. But even if he don't, we're not going to bow down. Oh, hallelujah. And they turn it up, the Bible says. When they went in there, it didn't, all they did was burn off the ropes. Then they stood up in the midst of the flames. Started to walk around in the flames. Ah, hallelujah. Glory. Nebuchadnezzar on the outside, uh, looking in. Uh, he asked one of the attenders, uh, y'all excuse me, excuse me. Didn't we throw three, but look like I see four? And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, uh, he had revelation. The fourth one, the fourth one, the fourth one looked like the Son of God. Oh, see, 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 God knows how to make a wicked man preach. When you allow God to get in you, he'll change your mannerisms. He'll transform you so you become more and more like him. Somebody shout amen. Folk will start to marvel at the change that's come over you. Tell your neighbor, a change come over me. Look, 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 look. Let's go look what Matthew here. Matthew 8, 28 said, and men, but the men marvel saying, what manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? See, when you allow your manner. Look, look what he says again. Uh, and they feared exceedingly and said one to another, what manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? Tell somebody, oh, glory to God, stuff going to obey me. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, yeah, I, I need to get it. Come, go in, wait, 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 excuse me. <laughs> Say, stuff going to obey me. Glory to God. See, see, see you got to start, you got to start speaking, amen. And look, look, and, and there's some stuff you got to speak to it, and you got to keep speaking to it till it responds. Amen. But faith come by hearing. Glory to God. Y'all good? But you got to speak to it. But you got to have that, just just like that manner, you got to have that manner in you. Amen. You got to have that character trait in you. Go to James right quickly. Go to James. Go to James. James, James, if you got your Bible, if you got your, 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 your electronic device, James chapter 1, verse 23 through 24. Because a lot of times when, you have, when, when, you're, looking, when you're developing a profile, you got to be willing to stay with it until, it until you fit it. Amen. In other words, once you get the pattern, you got to stay with the pattern until you become like the pattern. Amen. You, you, can't, you can't keep walking away from the pattern. Amen. You keep, you, 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 you understand what I'm saying? And this is what he says here in James. Be, be, okay, calm down, then. yes, sir. James chapter 1, verse 23 through 4. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer. So you can't just hear what the word of God says. You got to observe. You got to start doing what the word of God says. Watch what he says now. He is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself and goes away and immediately forgets what kind or manner of man he was. In other words, You've got to have the image of Christ so ingrained in your spirit that whether you're looking in a mirror or not, you still need to know that you look like Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And see, when you get it like that, when you're face to face with the devil, the devil won't see Leonard. Devil won't see Joe. Devil won't see Ricky. Devil won't see Dick. The devil will see God. The devil will see Christ. The devil's vision will be black blurred by the power of the Holy Ghost. And he's going to let you along and let go of your stuff. Right. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Oh, no. You got to get this profile, though. You got to get this profile so down on the inside of you. Your humanity, glory to God. The Bible says, blessed is the man, blessed are they but who are poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. So you can't be so halted in thinking that you got this. Amen. You got to say, God, I need your help. All of my help. Come on now. My help. My help. Come on now. Glory to God. That was a good word. Hallelujah. Amen. And watch this now. Somebody says simplicity. simplicity. Somebody says simplicity. I, 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 had, I had in my earlier notes kiss. Keep it simple, smart person. But y'all know it's keep it simple. But anyway. but, but you got to keep it simple. Remember, love God, love others, 
and forgive. Amen. If you operate from those three principles, glory to God, the power of God will start to grow and develop in your life because you're showing God you love him by loving others. Hallelujah. And then uh, you're forgiving. Amen. Even yourself. Because sometimes, sometimes people spend more time beating themselves up for a mistake they made instead of forgiving themselves and move on. on. Amen. Yeah, look, if God going to forgive somebody else for you, then why don't you forgive you for you? Ask him to help you forgive you. Amen. Glory to God. He's a good God. Tell your name, he's a good God. And then there's, a, there's somebody said childlike faith. You got to have this childlike faith. You got to have this childlike. See, uh, my, 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 my grandchildren, my grandchildren, my grandchildren love me. But sometimes I have to ask them, do you love me for me or for because of what I can do for you? <laughs> and they smart. They smart. We love you for you, Paul. Paul. Can you buy? <laughs> but the funny thing is, Papa already done bought. Y'all ain't helping me. Come oh, come on now. Don't you know your heavenly father knows what things you love? And he's already put those things aside for you. Let's look at Matthew chapter 18. I'm trying to get there, y'all. Matthew chapter 18, verse 3 to 4, he said, And surely I say unto you, unless you are converted and become as little children, you will by no means enter into the kingdom of God. So you, you look, look, see, in other words, you can't, come, you can't go to heaven telling God how to run stuff. Amen. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Okay. He said, therefore, whoever humbles himself as a, little, as, as a little child is the greatest in the kingdom of, of heaven. Look at verse uh, Matthew three seventeen. Uh, surely, and surely, uh, uh, excuse me, and suddenly, help me out now. A voice came from heaven, said, "This is my beloved son, in whom I'm well pleased." Now, y'all know that this is when Jesus is getting ready to go into ministry, and, and uh, John the Baptist is getting ready to uh, the, the baptize him. The Holy Spirit then came on and light on him like a dove, and and and, and, and re remain on, and then God speaks from heaven. Well, Jesus ain't, Jesus hadn't done anything to uh, yet, yeah, has he? He's just ready to go into ministry, amen? But we have to realize that from 12 to 30, he, he was subject to his mother and father, amen? Because we, we find out in uh, Luke chapter 2, they had gone to Jerusalem to worship, and the three day, uh, day out, they, were, they, they realized Jesus wasn't with them. Got back to Jerusalem, three days done passed, and they find Jesus in the temple asking and answering questions, amen? And they said, boy, what you doing up in here? He said, hallelujah. You know, I got to be about my father's business. I believe when he said that, he was convicted in his heart. Just stay with me now. We often talk about 12 as being the age of accountability. And he's at 12 years old, amen. And this is where he realizes that I'm, I am uh, the son of Mary and Joseph, but I am also the son of God. And I got to be obedient to what God has said. And God said to Moses in Exodus chapter 20, honor thy mother and father. Come on now. So he says, part of my being obedient is I got to obey them. And for the next 18 years, he obeyed them. And that's why God, I believe God said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. And now when he goes into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil, the devil can't get him because God got him. Help me, Holy Ghost. And see, God want to get you the same way. I, I feel you, Holy Spirit. God want to get you the same way. So when the enemy come at you, glory to God, he ain't going to be able to get you because God got you. Hallelujah. A preacher friend I know said, ain't nothing to be, it ain't nothing like being got by God. Ain't nothing like being got by God. When you, got, when, when you know you got by God, you got by the right thing, amen. You got by the right somebody, amen. Ooh. All right, calm down. I got to calm down. Tell your neighbor you got to be obedient. Tell them again, got to be obedient. In Luke chapter uh, uh, 2, verse 52, I'm just reading that. The Bible says because Jesus came subject to him, Jesus grew in wisdom, stature, and favor with both God and man. See, if you want to grow, you got to learn how to be obedient to the word of God. Somebody shout amen. amen. That's got to be a part of your mannerism. Child, look, childlike obedience will bring you up, bring you grown up authority. Childlike obedience will bring you grown up authority. Amen. Glory to God. Now, here's the last one, y'all. Help me out now. Our motive. Our motive. See, the motive behind everything you and I do has to be to be pleasing to God. Amen. Nothing, no, 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 it don't have to be nothing else, just so I want to be pleasing to God. When you decide that you want to be pleasing to God, 
and you start living your life to be pleasing to God, God says, I'll manifest myself to you. I, I, I start showing up wherever you show up. Amen. Now, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let's qualify that. Amen. There's an omnipresence of God. God is everywhere all at the same time. There's an indwelling presence of God. If you save, he is in you. Amen. But then there's a time when glory to God, when you're doing something glory, that, that glorifies God, that God said, look, I know you know I'm here. But I, I'm ready to show up so the folk that don't know you like you know me. I'm going to show up and let them know that I'm here. And I'm still doing miracles in the earth realm. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. And see, that's what you want. Tell you, that's what you want. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Look what Paul says, 1 Corinthians 2 and 5, as we get to the point of close. That your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Ugh. You ever start listening to a preacher, and he didn't sound excited? Now, I, 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 I want to have some passion, amen, whenever I preach, amen. But, but I, I thank God for times, times uh, uh, he gives me such a calmness. And, and I don't feel like I'm excited about what he's saying. But when everything is over, I start to cry because I realize what he actually said. See, in other words, you got to learn how to grow past feelings. I, I love to see people clap. I love to see people get up. I ain't had nobody run and throw no hundred dollar bills down at the altar yet. Help me, Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But when I see some people get in a, a mold like Mm. Mm. And then don't 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 mess around and they sit there and then they grab the Bible. And then don't don't they, they mess around and start, look, I'm doing everything I can to contain myself because I know God is talking to them. Amen. Mm -hmm. And and I'll be saying to myself, ooh, I can't wait the church over. Because when church is over, if they ain't gone, I got to find out what they wrote down. Because whatever it is, it's something I believe I need. Because God wouldn't have told them nothing. Hallelujah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Our motive, our motive has to be to bring people closer to Christ. Being close to me ain't going to get you nothing but to smell the Prada that my daughter now bought me. But being close to God, being close to God can change your life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So, so, glory to God. I'm going to give you the profile. Oh, Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor you got to have some faith. Look at Colossians chapter 3, and, and, and I got to stop. Colossians chapter 3, verse 12 to 13 says, Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another, forgiving one another. And if anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you must also do. Or you also must do. Amen. Glory to God. He says, but above all things, put on love, which is the bound of perfection. And let the peace of God rule your hearts, uh, to which also were called in one body, and be thankful. He said, and let, the word of God, and let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, do it in the name of the Lord, Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through it. Somebody shout amen. amen. Glory to God. See, because you're a new creature in Christ, right, amen? And since you're a new creature in Christ, you got to start acting like that new creature that you are, amen? 
Glory to God. And your motive is now because you are now an ambassador. Find somebody say, I'm an ambassador. Verse 20 says, now then uh, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God is pleading through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled with God. For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Somebody shout amen. amen. All right, all right. Pastor Devil, get ready to come on down here. Glory to God. Look, I done had some fun. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But y'all indulge me just, just about five minutes more. About five minutes more, and I'm, 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 I'm getting ready to... to, to to, to turn, turn it over, amen? Glory to God. I, I, I pray that I don't talk, but can I preach for a minute? Can, can, I, can I just preach for a minute, amen? You see, our message is, glory to God, that Christ was crucified for us, amen? He didn't have to do it, but he did, amen? He came from heaven to earth to show us the way, from the earth to the cross, our debt to pay, from the cross to the grave, and from the grave to the sky. That's why we got to start praising him, amen? That's got to be our message. It's not about what I've done or what Christ now is enabling me to do. Is that everything Christ did, he did for me, amen? That's why I got to preach him. Tell you that I got to preach him. Glory to God. He was raised from the dead, wasn't he, amen? Glory to God. So everything that was contrary against you got nailed to the cross. Tell your neighbor, your problems are on the cross. Look, look, look. He didn't even carry your problems to his grave. He, your problems got nailed to the cross. And then when they put him in the grave, the Bible says the tomb is now empty. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, because it was borrowed because he wasn't going to use it long. Amen. Glory. And look, he didn't stay there. He went down to hell. Amen. That was a record about you in hell. But he went down there and redacted that record. Somebody shout amen. When you know God, when you know God like that, everything he did was for us. Amen. Glory to God. Look, but not only that, he got raised. Somebody say he got raised. He got raised, and he's now seated at the right hand of God. But can I tell you something? He saved the seat for me. Oh, hallelujah. Y'all know uh, some folks are going to graduation, getting ready to go to graduation. You're going to be the first one there. And you, you know you got the folk in your family that's always late. Help me, Holy Ghost. And you trying to hold a whole row. Oh, it's you got premier seats trying to hold a whole row and you trying to tell everybody, no, DC saved, DC saved, DC saved. But look, Christ said, I done saved the seat for you and if for you, can't nobody take the seat that I done saved for you because he raised us to sit with him in those heavenly places. Oh, God, tell your neighbor just for me. See, that's part of our message. The other part is our manner. Hey, God, we got to uh, allow Christ to rule and reign on the inside of us. Amen. See, Christ in us is the hope of glory. See, the more I allow the glory of the Lord to flow from me, glory to God, the more uh, 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 I can shine as a light in this world. Amen. Glory to God. And the darker the world gets, the brighter your light going to be. Oh, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And see, you got to first, you got to start telling yourself, I'm light. Mm -hmm. See, the, the, the enemy reminding you of your dark day. But you, you say, that's okay. Yep, it was. You're going to tell him. Yep. Yep, it was dark. Sure was. Go on, tell him that it was dark. But the light of the glorious gospel is shining on me. It's shining through me. And when you, when you start talking like that, you, you, he'll start to back up off you. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And see, you, you, that manner, you got to have passion. You got to have passion. Hallelujah. Passion enough, y'all all right with me? Passion enough to ride a bicycle down a highway in the dark. Passion enough to, the girl tell you, I ain't giving you my phone number, it's in the book. And then to know that phone books don't exist anymore, to go find a phone book and to find that number. Passion is to drive all the way up here in a rented car, only to be told, I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. <laughs> Take that rental car back and come back. Come on. <laughs> hey! Glory to God. See, 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 see. Thank you, God. There's a difference, help me out, between having compassion and passion. You can stay seated and have compassion, but passion will make you move. Passion will make you do something. 
passion will stir you to some kind of action. That's why the Bible says you can't just be a hearer of the word. The Bible says he who practices what's righteous. That's the one that's righteous. Everybody, oh, the definition of righteousness is... Well, if you ain't got no righteous acts, are you righteous? Here's the last one. Tell your neighbor, I want to please God. Tell them again, I want to please God. I, 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 don't care what, I don't care what nobody else does. I want to please God. Let me just give you this and we got, got close. Oh, I got to turn it over to Pastor Deborah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Enoch walked with God and he was not, for the Lord took him. Hebrews 11, I believe verse 3 or 4 says, he had this testimony. He pleased God. Amen? He pleased God. So whatever you, whatever you and I do, bottom line is we want our actions to please God. That's what motivates us to do whatever it is we do. We want to please God. Whatever it takes to please God. See, see you got to stop deciding. I'm not just, you know. You got to stop wanting to do what pleases man Amen. or mankind and do what pleases God. Amen. I, 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 I know if we said certain things in here that are in line with what the world wants to hear, this church would be packed. I know it ain't packed because I don't say what the world wants to hear. I say what God said to say. Amen. Amen. And I'm happy with saying what God says to say. Amen. Because I'm not led by man. Oh, y'all ain't helping me now. I'm not led by man. I'm led by God. Amen. See, that's that mindset you have. See, see you, he told Abraham, look, I know all this belong to you. But I need you to leave all this and go where I'm going to show you. Amen. And he said, I will make your name great. You don't have to do nothing to, to try to stand out. Just follow me. I'll make your name great. Amen. See, there comes a time in your life, brothers and sisters, that you want your profile to be one that follows God and not man. Amen? Amen. When your profile is like that, God can do something with you. Amen? See, that's why that second title came in there. I am, when your profile lines up with God, you can be useful to God. Amen? You can be useful when your profile lines up with him. And I'm so thankful that he'll use you while you're on the way. Amen. Glory to God. You, you, when Paul says, I'm not, I'm not, pa Paul didn't come perfect. Paul didn't come perfected. Paul says, you know, I ain't there yet, but I'm pressing. Amen? Glory to God. But to do that, you got to get in the press. Amen? Amen? Glory to God. Come on, baby. You got to get in the press. You got to decide. You got to decide. Glory to God. Come on. Amen. You have to decide. Amen. Amen. It's, a, it's a personal question. Nobody can do it for you. Amen. I don't care who you are. I don't care how old you are. You have to make that decision. And what it is, is you have to understand that you all have a unique profile. Right. On file. And it's on file someplace. And the question is, where is it on file? Are you just in the in that you've been born and everything? Or are you in the book of life? Okay. I know that lately, it seems like my family has experienced a lot of, of death, right? We've had a lot of funerals. And we have my family has a funeral home. And they say that, oh yeah, that normally happens. It comes in groups. Sometimes they say it comes in groups of three or whatever. But then when that deaf angel comes to town, he like hits a family, right? And the thing is that, that if you can imagine this, when he comes and then your name is there and he's looking to see what's written on your profile. So the question is, 
when he's looking at your profile, which way are you going to go? Where will you spend eternity? Because once he comes, that's it. He makes that decision, right? He looks at your profile and he says, okay, this person's name is written in the book of life. They're going to have eternal life. That's where you go. Door closed. You don't get a second chance. That's it. Or if your profile doesn't show that your name is written in the book of life, door closed. Don't have another chance. But while you are still alive, while you can hear my voice, the question is, can you hear that still soft voice of Jesus saying, I'm standing on the door and I'm knocking at your heart. And I'm saying it quietly because that's how he's saying it to you. I'm knocking at your heart. Now Satan is hollering loud. Don't listen to her. Don't listen to her. Don't listen to her. You need to think about something else that you're doing. But he's saying, I'm knocking. I want to make you part of my kingdom. And I want to write your name. I want it to be in your profile that you're a part of my kingdom. Amen? So I ask you right now, because see, tomorrow's not promised to us. While you can hear his voice, and I'm praying right now, he is speaking through me. While you can hear his voice on this side, have you really, truly in your heart accepted him as your Lord and your Savior. Now the word tells us there'll be weed and tear. There's a lot of people that we are sure that they got the right profile, but they're tear. They look right on the outside, but they're not right on the inside. So right now, I speak to everybody in here and everybody at the sound of my voice. Look into your heart. Is he really your Lord and Savior? Amen. Is he your Lord and Savior? This is that time that you take stock. Do you know that if you were to die today, when that death angel comes, would he take you and send you to heaven or would he send you to hell? This is your chance to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, hallelujah, praise God. Come on up, come on up, come on up, praise God. Now, there's room, there's room for more. There's room, because that day is coming, that day is coming when you won't have an opportunity. It'll be too late. You'll be saying, let me in, let me in. But the doors have closed. Amen? Amen. Okay, that's thing number one. We're going to come to y'all, okay? Number two, let's just say that you have met him before. You've been baptized. You used to, you, they couldn't keep you out of the church. But somehow, you just got out there. You just got out there. You just got out there. And, and you just felt you were like the prodigal son. But the, he's like the father. He's waiting for you to come back. So if that's you, then we invite you to come right now. And we will pray with you. Okay. And then last, we're going to get to him. And then last but not least, last but not least, if you want to become a part of our fellowship, then we welcome you right now to come and become a part of our fellowship. Amen? Amen. Now, we have two young men that have come up today. So first, I need to ask you the most important thing. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? You have. So you're already a Christian. Okay, what about you? Mm -hmm. 
you have, we're going to say, you want to say the prayer? Okay, we're going to say the prayer of salvation, okay? Come on, turn around. Yeah, just turn around. Like this? Yes. Come to close the gap. I need you to. Yeah. You don't want to be close to him, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, like, don't, don't touch me. Okay, so let's pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I confess that I have been a sinner. But right now, I thank you for touching my heart, and I repent for all sin. And by faith, I believe that you died on the cross for me. And I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. And by faith, I believe. I believe. I've been saved. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. So, you've been baptized before? Somebody said, y'all both been baptized before, but you want to be rebaptized. Is that what you're saying? Okay, so on third Sunday, we're going to have a baptism celebration. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Okay. All righty. Anything? You want to say anything? You do? Okay, I felt you. I just want to thank everybody for coming out and coming to this church to have Lord in y'all lives and I just want to thank all my family for coming out, too. Um, amen. Uh, I just want to thank the church for letting us in to learn about God and stuff. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, and I forgot. Can you tell everybody your name? Everybody in here doesn't know you. Tell everybody your name. My name is my name is Tavis Boyce. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 12 years old. 12 years old. All right. Praise God. Tavis. Tavis. Okay. Okay. I, I, I can ask my mom. Can you tell us your name? Everybody in here doesn't know you. Dustin Floyd. Okay, and how old are you? 11. Okay, 11 and 12. Let's just say hallelujah. And, and now, who's your mama? Is your mama in here? Where yeah. is your mama? Right there. there she she is. Is. Oh, they want you to come up here next to them. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise God. Mom, what's our ages? Okay, we're going to get that. We'll get that afterwards. We'll do that. We'll do that afterwards. All right, so we're just so happy, and let's just give the Lord a hand clap of praise right now. Amen. And Mom, tell everybody who you are. I'm Gail Blackmore. Okay. So, and these are all mine. <laughs> okay. Praise God. We're happy to have you here. Now, we don't have a, a, a anything about voting people in to become members of our church. Okay. But you want to be members of our church, correct? Okay. So the question is, what does the church have to say? Glory, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Okay. And we have new members training class. All right. And we have to training them. Okay. Thank you. Hug. Give me a hug. It takes a village. Raise a child. Amen. Praise God. Before they, before they sit down, before they sit down, uh, can I get you two young men to stand out in the center there? <coughs> Deacon Coleman and uh, Brother Washington and Brother Hudson, uh, can I get y'all to come up real quickly? Hallelujah. Brother, where Brother Nicholas go? He ran. <laughs> Brother Harris and Brother Fisher, Brother Ross. Come on, come on, come on, you men. You men. Brother uh, Arthur, Pastor Wilson. Christian, come on. Derek, come on. 
I want y'all to surround these, these two young men. Y'all come and surround these two young men. Lord. Uh, surround. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you hear you hear it. Yes, sir. That's it. Surround them. Surround them. And, and if y'all will touch and agree or, uh, around them. Touch and hold, hold hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Deacon Coleman, where you at? All right. All right. Will you, will you, uh, will you speak a blessing over them as young men? And I want them in the center. 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 Them in the center. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because these are going to be men. Amen. <laughs> Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for this time. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, for these young men, Lord, that have come forward, Lord, uh, to say they want to be baptized again. Not that they don't believe, Lord. They yes, just want just the world and this church to know, Lord, of who they believe in. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you sent them this way, Lord, for covering at this church. And Lord, we pray, Lord, for them, Lord. We pray, Lord, for the men here, the men folk here that they're going to look up to, Lord, as young men looking up to older men, that, they, that, Lord, that we will show them the way, Lord, that we will show them what right looks like. And so, Lord, we just pray, Lord, that they'll be, that we older men will be good stewards and the younger men, yes, that they God. will look, Lord. And then, though, we just pray, Lord, that you would just, that, that you would just give them just the spirit, Lord, of, of just that want to know that, Lord, that they would just look to see and they'll look with a good attitude, Lord, and they will study their Bibles, and Lord, and, and they'll look to the hills of which come at their help yes, and God. realize, Lord, that, that just because we're old, that we don't always get it right. But, Lord, that they will be discerning also, and they'll also always lean and depend on you. Lord, we pray, Lord, for their, their mother, Lord, that she thought it well to bring them this way also. And, Lord, we pray, Lord, for this church, our pastor, and the, the women and the, 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 uh, the yes, older, God. the wise yes. ones here, Lord. Yes, that, Lord, that we'll continue to look to you, Lord, as our shepherd. And, Lord, we thank you, Lord. We love you. We lift your name on high. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Come on, let's glorify God in this place. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Good prayer too, yeah, yeah. right. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 deep, deep, deep. Oh, we got communion. Oh, I forgot. My bad. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Communion time. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is our communion, son. This is the first Sunday. May I get you all, will all of you please stand? Glory to God. The inscription on this table before me that holds the communion, the bread that symbolizes the body of Christ and the juice that symbolizes said, shed blood. This table, the inscription says, this do in remembrance of me. It is Christ telling us, I want you to remember the message. I want you to remember the manner. I want you to remember the motive behind everything that I did while I was here on the earth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Amen. There was a, when the children of Israel came out of Egypt, God told them to kill a lamb and put the blood on the door of the house and that the death angel would pass over. He told them to uh, have the sandals laced and staff near because they were going to leave in a hurry. When they came out of Egypt, there was not a single one that was sick among them. So as we do this, take this communion, remembering Christ, remembering God, remembering the word of God, we know that there's healing in this communion. 
So if you're suffering from something this morning, as you partake of this bread that symbolizes his body and this juice that symbolizes his shed blood and have faith that by his stripes you've already been healed, we believe that you can be healed this morning of anything that's going on in your body. Somebody shout amen. amen. Because we believe God's word. Amen. amen. That's why he says, this do in remembrance of me. So the more we remember this, the more we take this to heart and believe it, we'll see the manifestation, the manifested presence of God's power and ability in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor Debbie, you want to pray? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you so much for this day. And we thank you, Father in heaven, for sending your only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And we thank you for this opportunity to do this in remembrance of him. We thank you for dying on the cross for us, our Jesus Christ. And we just love you right now. And we pray right now that everybody in this room, Lord, that their, their hearts are leaning towards you and that they will love you, honor you, and we praise you. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 The body and the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The body and the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I know it was the blood, I know it was the blood, I know it was the blood for me. day of the last supper Jesus took the bread and after he had blessed it he broke it he said this is my body which is broken for you take eat ye all of it and they ate together after they had eaten he took the cup took the cup he said this is a symbol of the new covenant I make with you a covenant of my blood take drink ye all of it and they drank together and after they had eaten and drank they began to praise him somebody shout hallelujah oh glory to God our God is good, amen? Oh, hallelujah. Nothing but the blood, nothing but the blood, nothing but the blood. And the blood never loses its power, amen? Hallelujah.
<laughs> oh, we, we got it, man. Go ahead. Grab that mic. Good afternoon, everybody. It's tired and offering time. Amen. Oh, uh, come on. Let's keep worshiping. Let's keep worshiping. Let's keep worshiping. We're going to talk about giving for a little while, okay? You know, God gives us a blessing of being able to work and earn and, and save money and spend and accumulate wealth. That all comes from God. It ain't got nothing to do with us. We do this for our children, we do it for our communities, we do it for ourselves, but we also do it to honor God as good stewards. And as good stewards, we joyfully worship God each Sunday by giving him back a portion of what he's just so generously and graciously just given to us, So, which allows the church to be able to do God's work in God's kingdom throughout the world. And so what we ask every Sunday is that you all join us in worshiping God as faithful stewards through giving. So today, if you would, turn to me back into the book of Deuteronomy. We're going to go to chapter 8. Deuteronomy chapter 8. We're going to read two verses of scripture, verses 17 and verse 18. So would you please stand in honor of God's word. Deuteronomy chapter 8. Verse 17 and verse 18. The word of God reads, And though you say in thine heart, My power and thy might of mine hand hath gotten me this wealth. <laughs> but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant with thee. He swear unto thy fathers, and it is this day. May Lord bless blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. Let's pray. Dear God, our Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for this time as we've studied your word. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for our jobs. Lord, that you've graciously given to us, Lord, that we could earn and save and accumulate wealth. And Lord, we pray now as we bring back these tithes, these offerings to you. Lord, we pray for the ones that had to give and the ones that have not. And Lord, we pray a lot for the amount that was given, Lord, but for the condition of one's heart. Because what was given, Lord, doesn't make you any richer or any poorer, but it makes the giver richer. Lord, we pray for this church as we receive these tithes offerings, that we are good stewards, Lord. Good stewards. Lord, we ask this prayer in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Would you bring your tithes and offerings around the walls from the rear of the church, please? Sister Blackmore. <laughs> and the little one. <laughs> hey, she got something too. She's coming. Come on. I'm a man who had to fight just to get ahead. Maybe that explains why I'm rough around the edge. But at the core of me is a heart made of gold I'm confident and bold and I'm trying to win So if you want to judge, that's alright Just don't forget that dirt in your own eye Oh, I am never get caught in my emotions I never question my devotion His eyes are perfect. 